We're going to see how to use Google's Docs to make a form that you can um, use to collect information with people. We're going to begin by signing into our Google account here and uh, just enter the information for your account to authenticate. Uh, this is the Google page here. You can see I'm signed in and to create one of these forms to collect information I'm going to click on the More button and go down to Documents. This is where I have all my documents shared and I'm going to create a new form. Opens up this new page for me here. Um, for this form, for our example here, I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect some student information here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of the form there. Uh, it says I can include text here. Please enter your information into the form below. And uh, now I get to uh, enter a series of questions here. The first question, let's say I'm going to collect uh, email students from my students, uh, e email addresses, I should say. Uh, I want to know their first name. Uh, I don't need really to include any help text there. Uh, I've got different types of questions that I can ask them here. I'm going to just go ahead and have them enter text. And I am going to require them to enter their first name. Uh, then I can go on and uh, ask another question here. I guess I get to answer an, uh, 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 add another question in here if I'd like and it gives me a little edit form down here automatically I'll go ahead and click on that so I can begin editing question number two um, notice it's showing me my form that I've created so far up here first name I'm now going to ask the student for their last name that's a text question their answer it's gonna look like this when it shows up uh, and that also is a required question and um, for, for whatever reason, it's not allowing me to add any more questions here. So uh, all I'm really able to do at this point is click on Done and then Add More Questions. I've got more actions here, or I should say uh, here, I can add an item. So I'm going to go ahead and add another text item here. I'm going to ask them to enter their email address. And I'll put a little help thing here, please enter your address correctly and I'm going to actually use this again email address I'm gonna use this copy feature here this duplicate to enter that and ask for a new question so you can see that I've got my initial questions that have been included there I'm now gonna ask for their parents email address uh, mother's email address and if you don't live with your mother, feel free to leave this blank. And I'm going to duplicate that one more time for their father's email address. If you don't live with your father. So you can see that we've got these questions that we've entered here. Uh, and maybe I'll do one more type of question here. I'm going to add one more item. Um, this is going to be a uh, radio button. It's not listed as radio button here, but we're going to have them choose from a list. And I'm going to have them actually enter which class they're in, just for fun. So, which class are you in? and they're going to be choosing from a list. I've already selected that. Option one is uh, Conceptual Physics A period. I'll add another one down here. Cons uh, oops. Another one down here is going to be uh, Advanced or AP Physics B period and one more AP Physics D period. So those are my three options that I'm going to have. This is a required question and at this point I'm done. So you can see what this looks like. I'll, I'll actually have a list here that they can choose from. Um, once you've got that all done you can say save. We now have this form here that we can use to uh, collect information from students. You can see down at the bottom here it says you can view the published form here and it's this address that I'm going to copy. It's this address I'm going to share with people. So I'm actually going to click, drag and 
highlight that address and copy that. And if I share that address with people, let me open up a new, uh, let's see, this has all been saved. Let me open up a new tab here. If I paste in that address, and it's a bit of a nightmare, this address, you definitely wouldn't want to have to copy that in or enter that by hand. If I just paste it in there and go to that page, we can see what it looks like. Notice it's got my student information stuff there. So let me go ahead and fill this out a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this blank. I'll enter my father's email address. And I'm going to be in B period, we'll say. I'm going to go ahead and submit that form. Thanks, your response will now appear in my spreadsheet. That's great. And what does that really mean then? What does it mean that that response is going to appear in my spreadsheet? Well, now when I go back to my original Google Docs, I'm going to go ahead and reload this page. And what you'll see is there's a student information form that has been created. I'm not sharing this with anybody. I shared a link to the form itself, but the uh, the spreadsheet that collects that student information has not been shared with anyone. This is just for me to see. And when I click on that, you can see that I've got a date time stamp here that tells me when the form was filled out. The first name, last name, email address, and that information that I was looking for. So presumably I could share the address for this form and have my students all enter their information. It would be compiled for me this, in this spreadsheet and then I could use that uh, for my class.